Hey my precious people on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I'm Orage Interlude Man. And how is it in 2024? When it comes to, you know, mass appeal, smell, you know, popularity in the fragrance community and so on. And I thought to myself that I would talk a little about some niche fragrances because I've spoken a lot about designer fragrances, clone fragrances, and cheap fragrances the last couple of weeks. Now it's time for some niche. And this particular video is one of my so-called straight to the point reviews, where I will tell the most important things and the most important details about the particular fragrance in the video. At least what I consider as the most important things to know about the fragrance. Let's start out with the box for this fragrance. And actually, this is around the particular box. A thick piece of paper with some graphic art. Actually, pretty fine work, I think. And it says Amourage, the logo, you know, name of the fragrance. Same on the side. And on the back, we got the ingredient information. We got the address of the boutique in French, the Amourage boutique and where it's produced. The box itself, here is the cover. Actually, pretty fine word too. Amourage Interlude Man. And it says, the gift of kings. It always says that on, on Amourage fragrances. And here lays the bottle, the bottle itself. And you take it out like this. Pretty fine. I think the particular box has been changing over the last couple of years since 2012. I have to say, I had never smelled Amourage Interlude Man until I think it was 2022, actually. Pretty fun. Here's the bottle. It's a very, very dark blue. And the cap with the amourage, the little diamond, magnetic cap these days, of course, the batch code at the button, or else logo and you know what you can see, guys. And let's just start with in this video, you know, with will I still buy Amourage Interlude Man in 2024? And hell yeah, I will still buy Amourage Interlude Man in 2024. Because it is so unique with that spiciness to it and the combination of the note, especially with that very strong oregano note or oregano note there's in it. I just think that it's a very, very beautiful combined fragrance. Is Interlude Man very mass appealing? Is it for everyone? Definitely not. I think you have to have smelled a lot of fragrances before in your life, before you actually sit down and think, let me buy Interlude Man, because I think it's a very, very mass appealing fragrance. You know, it's not like that. If you are into unique and special fragrances with a different smell into it, then Interlude Man is probably for you. You have to like oregano, of course, because it's very potent, is this particular fragrance. But I will never ever suggest you just to go blind by Amourage Interlude Man, because either you really love it, and a lot of people in the fragrance community really love the uniqueness of Interlude Man, but either you love it or either you don't like it. I will not say necessary you hate it, but for a lot of people, it's just not them. Me, I just love Interlude Man. And I really think the composition of the notes is so beautiful in this particular fragrance. Now let's take the scent itself and what I get through it whole performance when we are talking about from the start through the dry down and when it is a skin scent. And I actually get 
the very beautiful oregano note and a lot of spiciness, pepper, freshness from the bergamot, lots of incense, amber, some depth from the oud and a lots of patchouli. That's what I get and what my nose are getting from this beautiful fragrance. It's just, as I told before, such a beautiful composition when we are talking about blends of notes. But I think I've said it before, but I will definitely say it again. Do never blind buy Amouage Interlude Man, cause it is so unique. It is very special and so unique. And in my eyes, a very, very beautiful niche fragrance. I actually see it as the blue beast that some people consider Interlude Man as. Um, when we are talking about the performance of Interlude Man in 2024, I actually think that it's a 2023 batch, but anyway, you know, it has a very, very great sillage and it has a great projection for the first five to six hours before it settles closer to the skin. You will still get wefts of it by yourself and people that are passing you will definitely still get this fragrance on you until you hit about the 10 to 11th hour mark. And when you hit the 14th hour mark, then I had to put my nose straight down to the skin to get, still get a very, very small and tiny smell of it. But actually it lasts until you wash it off. I didn't put Interlude Man in my video, you know, what is a real beast mode fragrance, part one and two and so on, because it's a niche scent. And uh, I got a lot of, of niche scents and I think I got some niches in one of these videos, but this one right here is just so obvious and it's not that mass appealing for you know, the other half of the people, it's very mass appealing for a lot of people in the fragrance community, but as well, a lot of people, I think there's a lot of people that will never wear Interlude Man. I'm one of these people in the fragrance community and in the whole world itself that really loves Interlude Man. So I will definitely wear it. And I know a lot of people that are really enjoying this fragrance too. And when to wear this beast, fall and winter, because of the composition of the notes, then it is listed as a fall and winter fragrance. But then again, as I've told you guys before, some people live in a country where there's high degrees all year round. So of course you can get away with wearing this at or in summer days, but I will personally wear it in a cooler or cold environment again, because of the composition of its notes, but um, that's just the way it is. But very beautiful fragrance. And if you wear it in the summertime, just moderate your spray so you don't choke people out. But my personal opinion, I will wear this fragrance fall, winter, maybe early spring. And now to the funniest part in this video. Actually, it's not fun at all. Price point. You can get this 100 ml for right under $400. Yes, it is very expensive. Amourage is a high level niche fragrance company. You know what I mean? Um, that's why I tell you guys to sample it or smell it before you buy it under every circumstances. Do always smell Amourage fragrances before you buy them because they are very expensive. I enjoy them. A lot of people I know enjoy Amourage, but you might not. I think a lot of you guys will, some not. What I've told before, you know. But um, that's the price of this blue beautiful beast right here. And me personal, I actually think that you can wear Interlude Man under any circumstances if you like it, of course. And, um, you know, everyday situations, office, clubbing, dressed up situations. Um, office wear, you might moderate your sprays. 
it's all about moderate your sprays uh, when you are wearing a fragrance. If it's hot outside and you really want to wear it, if you really want to wear it, maximum one to two sprays. Cold outside, dressed up situations, three or four sprays. It's up to you, of course. That's what I would do if it was me in these circumstances and these situations. That was my straight to the point review of Amorage Interlude Man. Not much left to say, beautiful people. I just hope that you enjoyed the video and that you are enjoying your life with your family, friends, and loved ones. And until I see you again, guys, enjoy life even more. See ya.